Prepare to be at the edge of your seat. This is the most dangerous accommodation in the world, the Frying Pan Tower. Located in the middle of the treacherous oceans off North Carolina, this tower has earned its infamous name, the Graveyard of the Atlantic, due to the shallow waters, shipwrecks, and ruthless storms it's endured. Standing at 135 feet above sea level, this tower is not for the faint of heart, especially for those who are afraid of heights. I am terrified of heights. Locals have warned to beware of the menacing sharks lurking beneath the tower and to make matters worse I can't swim. so where will i be staying for the next three days i'm in north carolina <laughs> What am I doing here? All right, y'all, um, so we just ran into the first problem. So before I came to North Carolina, I searched up if they had Uber in this certain Wilmington city, and it said that they did, right? So I thought I was smooth sailing. But now that I'm standing here in Wilmington, I've come to realize that there are Ubers, but very little of them. It's very calming. <gasps> Guys, we found a driver. Hi. Am I? Yes. Charles. Cool. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, aside from the fact that I'm about to go to the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Little did I know what I was about to face, and to be honest, I was not prepared for this, but I had to face it. But before I did that, I had to make sure that I at least had my essentials. A pickle and sunflower seeds. I'm, <laughs> I'm filming something. <laughs> okay, we can go, we can go. All right, I just got to the hotel. Time is currently 6.59. That means I have 12 more hours left until I am eaten by sharks. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hi, I'm again. Mai. Nice to meet you. It's good to meet you. Let me catch you guys up. So in 2010, the Coast Guards in North you Carolina stop. decided to demolish the tower. However, a hero emerged from the ocean. This is Richard. He purchased the frying pan tower and has been living in the middle of the ocean for over 10 years, working tirelessly to restore it. I stumbled across his YouTube videos and honestly, I was inspired. I realized that if there was one thing that I needed to do before I died, <gasps> It was gonna be conquering my fear of heights and swimming in the ocean. So I sent him a message on Facebook Messenger and now we stand ready to face the challenge together. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we can manage. <laughs> Hi. Hey, good morning. Good morning, I'm Mai. Hey, Mai, nice I'm Dirk. Dirk, nice to meet you. Yeah. And this is Dirk. <gasps> what are you doing? How am I not supposed to freak out if I see a shark? Let's go. Did you like it? It was terrible. Terribly good. Ah. Mm, they're sweet and delicious. What is that? It's a fish. All right, right now, we're currently loading up the dock so that we can put it on the boat, but it is so pretty outside right now. <gasps> hard at work or hardly working? What are you thinking? You'll be there till like next Monday, Tuesday. This is your first time. But yeah. It's fun out there. It's just um, a lot of work. What's the most dangerous thing that could happen? I'm falling through the floor and falling through the air. Just... Okay. Okay. Are there sharks in the water? Yeah, there's a shit ton of sharks. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. North Carolina is full of sharks. Yeah, you'll see them in the upper. Really you'll happen. see them swimming around. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Mama. Jump on her, kiddo. I think we're ready to go. All right, we're 39 miles out now, and this is where I'm going to be staying for the next three, four, five-ish days. Here's me trying to get a thumbnail, but clearly, as you guys know, this was not the thumbnail. How am I getting up? You'll see in a minute. Don't look down. <laughs> okay. Don't look down. Don't look down. I'm afraid of heights. Yo, and I can't swim. Really? You better get up there. <laughs> yeah. You better hold on tight, uh, Fun fact, shortly after this video was filmed, I took swimming lessons because yes, as a 20 year old, I was genuinely afraid that my cause of death was going to be drowning. <laughs> well, what is the situation looking like? I guess so. Oh my God, this was not what I was expecting. Yeah, well that's why you don't need any distraction. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't get on here. Just get on there. Here it goes. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What is going on? <laughs> Yo, this looks like a drone shot. It is literally just me sitting on this swing. Hi. Oh my gosh, I am terrified of heights. Like I literally can't even step out of here. Yo, this is definitely one of the craziest videos that I have ever filmed. All right, so this is gonna be my room for the next couple of days or so. 
Literally right after I got settled into my room, Richard came and recommended that I explore the rooftop. But honestly, that was not in my plans. But I knew I had to face my fears head on. I slowly made my way up the stairs. And by slowly, I mean slowly. My heart was racing with every step. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. I really am just like in the ocean right now. Like, you can't see anything. There really is nothing out here. And my phone, no service. No shit. We're in the middle of nowhere. This is gonna be an interesting next couple days, but I'm kind of ready for the adventure, I think. Getting up here, was not expecting that. All right, do you guys remember when the locals were like, oh, it's gonna be so much work out there? It's a lot of work. Thankfully, Richard only left me with two things, but I guess it leaves the rest of the work for somebody else. Thank you, Dirk. You know what we should do? Comment like, I heart Dirk in the comments, or like, W Dirk. Show our support, you know? Oh, God damn. <laughs> this is scary. Our safety briefing consists of trying to prevent you from falling off. Uh huh. And if you do get a cut or a scrape, there's lots of sharp things around here. Did you get a tetanus shot by any chance? That's how I got up here. Right. Using the ladder? Yes. Oh my gosh. You can see the pipes down underneath the water. That's about uh, that's probably 10 or 15 feet down. So it's super clear. And that means you can see the sharks and the sharks can see you. Nice. The sharks can see me? Oh, yeah. And you said we were gonna go swimming? Yep. All right, time is currently 12.55. It's time to make lunch. I found some things in the pantry and we're gonna try to do what, do, wait, what, do with what we can. Before I came out here, Richard literally only asked me one thing and that was, can I cook? So um, that's the reason why my to-do list looks the way it does. But listen, y'all already know I love my uh, uh, what I eat in a day videos. So welcome back to another what I eat in a week being stuck on a, I can't even say stuck. Well. Ooh, foreshadowing. So as you're swimming around, if you have the urge to relieve yourself in the water, be assured there will be 10,000 fish following you. Oh, so probably won't. Won't be doing that. After a delicioso lunch, I got in my uniform. Wrong one. Wrong, wrong one. Uh, there we go. I'm about to be dropped down so that we can go swimming, but I have to take the swing again, which I forgot. But apparently there's sh there, there may be sharks down there. And then if I see a shark, then I need to not freak out. How am I not supposed to freak out if I see a shark? I ascended down into the waters, slowly dropping, actually really quickly, dropping inch by inch down into the ocean. Holy, yo, I definitely gotta say that this is some of the craziest shit I've ever done. We're doing it, guys. I'm finally swimming. But do you guys see this rope right here? This is the rope that Richard gave me to hold on to the entire time that we were down there. But you know what? When I said that we were going to take on this challenge together, I really meant it. I thought everything was going so well until I look to my right and I see this huge white shark bolting at me. Just kidding. I literally just found that off of his YouTube videos. Anyways... <laughs> sunset time right now and you can see the sun and then also the moon i don't know if i'm pointing to it the moon i just want to sit here and just like Nah, because this was actually one of the prettiest sunsets I've ever seen. But it was kind of scary. It, it was. There was literally no piece of land, no boat in sight for miles and miles and miles. It was just straight water. But what made it even more scary is I looked to my right and I just see Richard with his VR headset on going. Well, you have to imagine this because I accidentally deleted all the video footage. But just he was going crazy, okay? And y'all know I had to join in on the phone, so I was going crazy too. Would you like to explain what you just did? I caught three nice fish for supper. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fish are those? Pinkies. Mmm, they're sweet and delicious. I can't believe you just caught this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. You heard it? Yeah, uh, that was clear. How's everything going over there? We're suffering, man. It's rough over here. Good morning. I made my bed, and honestly, I had no plans for the day. So I really got to thinking, what am I doing with my life? Because all I seem to be doing is posting getting my life together videos. And that's when it hit me. I should do yoga. Just kidding. <laughs> Pranked. It's me and Rich. It's so crazy. I used to be so afraid of heights and like it definitely does spook me But I try to like tell myself, you know, like it's not real You know, this is scary, but like I'm doing it, you know, can't really say I'm enjoying it though Welcome back to cooking with my and Dirk. Yeah, cooking with my and Dirk 
Oh. What are you doing? You ever use a corner of a scratcher? <laughs> no. Oh, God, sweet Jesus. Oh. I went to a dermatologist and she cut a piece off my back that she thought was bad for the sun, and it itches. <laughs> Apple crisp on the way. Holy moly. With no set date in sight, I decided to get settled in and get comfortable by taking a hot shower, doing my skincare routine, and cleaning my room. This would not be a MyFam video without this montage. Like, how do I still manage to create this montage even in the middle of the ocean? All right, time to go catch today's dinner, but I think we're ready. Let's go catch today's dinner. Ready to go fishing? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, if I catch a fish, don't I have to? Yeah, throw a little fish in there. Fishing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Fishing. Get in the shot, get in the shot. Another one. There's a fish on there. There's a fish? You have caught a fish. No, I have not. Yes, you have. This is so difficult. <laughs> I caught a fish! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! Give me, give me, give me, give me. Wow! That is good. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> wow, guys, we're getting pretty good at this. Come on, bud, sea bass. What's black sea bass? Is it good? That, that, is it good? It's white, it's sweet. Sweet and delicious. You see it? You feel it? Yep. Keep it real. Holy f***. This one's hard. <laughs> All right. What is that? It's a fish. A pinky. I am under the frying pan tower. <laughs> I eat your bait. <laughs> With my newly acquired fishing skills, Richard Dirk and I, Richard Dirk, was that the right vocabulary? Grammar? I don't know. Fished until the sun set. But these fine Instagram pictures that you're looking at right now, listen, we could have not done it without Dirk. So you know what we should all do? Go to the Instagram and comment, we heart Dirk to show our support. You know what I mean? Do it look all right? Yeah. Good morning. It's currently day four. Yup. Day four. I come yeah. on here and he's like, do you want the good news or the bad news? I see lots and lots of white caps on there. So I thought I'd check the forecast and yes, it actually says Sunday. No, you're lying. I know, I wish I was. Um, but what we're going to do is we're hoping that the forecast is wrong and that we can get a captain to come out here and snag our butts off here. So what you're telling me is no one's picking up the phone right now. Yeah, yeah. I end up being stuck. You didn't like it? No, it was terrible. Terribly good. Ah. Listen, as night three approached, I was starting to get a little bit worried because this was supposed to be our last day here. But due to the harsh weather, literally no one wanted to come out here, even the helicopters. So at this point, I was unsure if I was ever going to see my widow stowing again. Bark, bark. Um, sorry, that was cringe. But uh, Richard being a dad, he instantly knew how to cheer my mood up. So... Wrong point of view, my wrong wrong point of view. Pictured here is me with the GoPro strapped to my head, thinking that I was getting the best shots ever. And if you're wondering where this footage went, uh, I didn't realize that I was filming in time lapse. I never said I was a great YouTuber, okay? These fish are putting up a fight. <laughs> I truly think that the fish felt bad for me because I swear I didn't edit this clip. I really did catch a fish in 10 seconds, okay? I know you don't believe me, but I did. The, the, the proof is in the pudding. Hey there. Ah! Ah, no, I thought he was gonna stay still. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it, it's a beautiful one. I was feeling good about myself, okay? Day five, we were fishing alone, things were going smoothly. What the f did I just catch? Help! Help! I can't reel it in! Dirt! Help! Hurry! 
you won't move. Here, take it. You need to take it. Like I'm telling you, you need to take it. I can't do it. <laughs> but just as I started to get comfortable, a boat came to the rescue as the morning approached. Oh my gosh. We're being saved. It's the best thing to ever happen. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so close to the water. <laughs> I did it. Thank you. Maybe the middle of the ocean isn't so bad after all. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best.